once the computer is turned on, you're going to want to get ProPresenter loading, loading first because it's a little slow to load, and then open up Safari. In Safari, there's two things you're going to need to get right off the bat. You'll need to be going to Google Sheets, and then by hitting the Command T, you can open up a new tab and go to Google Docs. Now, once in Sheets and Docs, one thing that will be important is to double check you got the little church image up here. Everything that will be needed will be on the, the Grandview Christian Church account. As you can see, my account's also logged in here um, because I do things and I need to pull them up. But for the most part, make sure you are on the church account. So here's the worship song calendar. We can get that pulled up. And the names of the songs for each week should be at the very bottom. As you see, they go by date. Double check you pick the right date. Um, we have actually sometimes uh, booked out over two weeks. So sometimes the bottom isn't always the most recent. If maybe we filled it out and picked two weeks worth of songs. But these will be the songs for the upcoming set. And most often... The first two songs will go before the message at the beginning of the set, and then there'll be the last four songs for the end. Google Docs is where you should find the sermon slides, and as you can see here, there are other documents like the church directory is on there uh, and other things, but for the most part, Revelation, you should see whatever text we're on uh, for the sermon and more than likely, it'll be right here in the most recent. It opens them in the order of most recent. So probably going to be right there because I was probably editing it Sunday morning. But I've been editing other things. And so we'll be opening this one and learning how to get the sermon slides off of this text.